So click on sample products file. And open up a new workbook and click on from text downloads products import click on delimited it is semicolon separated click on next and click on comma uh, semicolon separated next finish click ok okay so these are the example products that are being shown in our sample products csv file all right we don't want ids delete it we want all the products to be active and let's click on the iphone so we only want to add let's say we want to add two phones this is an iphone and this is the samsung let's delete these rows and let's add the name of our phones so click on samsung mobile and we have the apple phones so let's add a galaxy note 8 all right so let's add the title the title of our product okay and the second one actually this is this one because Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has the category of Samsung and that category should already exist if it doesn't exist then it's going to create that category at the root level okay it won't be creating um, that category under any particular category instead uh, this is the root level of our category mobiles and it's going to create new categories so it's good practice to uh, import the categories before importing the product so that it detects the category and then add that product inside that specific category all right so uh, for the iphone let's add an iphone so this is the apple apple iphone x so apple iphone x okay so price text excluded all right so in the pakistani rupees uh we have let's say 99000 and samsung galaxy note 8 is 88000 text rule id uh, we don't want text rule id wholesale price let's say 98000 let's say 87000 and on sale whether it's on sale or not it is not on sale okay so let's move further discount amount it is not on discount so let's keep it empty a discount from discount to delete these columns if you want if you want to add these things you can add that thing uh, supplier reference uh, we don't want any reference number we can add the reference number if we want in order to search it later on because a uh, product needs to have a reference number uh, because multiple products can have uh, same name same title same brand same category so it's difficult to search any specific product with the help of its name instead uh, we want to add a reference number that will be unique for every product and we can then search it in a more appropriate way using that reference number so i don't want to add reference number just for example so supply reference number i don't want to add supply reference number uh, so apple store um, is the supplier for the apple and the samsung store it will be the supplier of that samsung galaxy note 8 okay so manufacturer is samsung uh, we can import supplier and manufacturer directly from here by selecting this um, supplier and the brands and the combination so 
but if we don't import these suppliers and the brands before importing the products it will automatically generate these manufacturers and these suppliers in that supplier and manufacturer database okay but uh, that has to be imported uh, if you want to import thousands of products make sure you define a specific supplier and manufacturer before importing the products so EAN I don't want these things I don't know what is that width height let's just ignore these things quantity leave the quantity as it is minimal quantity visibility uh, leave it so here is the short description and the description uh, that can be included under the HTML elements okay so we can add that inline CSS along with this description and the short description as well we can add the tags for the products that will be helpful for searching uh, in the search engines meta title we have the keyword description URL return and text when back orders allowed available for order yes and show price yes we have the image URL so let's add the image we can have a multiple images uh, with the semicolon separated okay so let's click on this phone and click on this phone and let's copy so let's copy this copy image address remove it and then paste it so this is the image that I have just copied for actually this is actually the Samsung no the first one is the Apple so let's remove it and paste it so the first one that has to have that Apple URL so this is the Apple phone open in a new tab right click copy image address and remove it and paste it so this is the URL for the image of that Apple phone okay so we can have those things so for the features that is very important okay so feature uh, that needs to have a name of the feature the value of that feature and the position of that feature okay so let's click on just remove these items actually I need that Apple so Apple iPhone and Samsung so these are the feature of these phones I don't want to add all the features let's add uh, a, a CPU for the name CPU that is the name of the feature these features can be imported separately but if we don't want to import the features we can directly add the features here and that will be automatically generated in our Presto shop features database and the value is let's go and copy the value and this is the CPU for our Samsung okay and let's add a colon again and the position that which feature should comes uh, at the top of the table and if I add one then in the next feature I add two then the first feature will come at the top row of that table of the features okay so it didn't add the fourth value here but that is the customized uh, you need to add these so customized means uh, it is a customized value I'll let you know that what is customized and let's add uh, let's say for the multiple values we have the semicolon here okay because for the uh, multi separated values we have the comma these uh, that will be separated with these columns and inside the one column if you want multiple values that needs to be separated with the semicolon that I have just explained you earlier okay so let's add a second attribute or a feature so let's say that the memory and the memory has been added it is 6 GB let's add the colon 
6 GB, it has to be the two, the it should be in the second row. The first attribute should come in the first row, this is the second row and this is the customized as well. So leave these uh, two features as it is. Now let's add uh, the, actually I have mixed things up, this should be in the second row. Okay, and let's add the fourth one and this is the apple and it is the processor so processor has this is the value of the processor and cpu paste colon one colon one and the semicolon for the second attribute so that is the memory this is the 3 GB RAM okay so let's copy this thing from here and paste it and change the value of the memory 3 GB okay so these are added so leave the other values as it is I don't want to mess with those things okay so let's go to our site and click on products and if I just come down and I just want to verify for the features so this is the customized that was added earlier but uh, they didn't update these sample files uh, and that sample file does not uh, include this customized as well so I added it so to avoid any spelling mistake customized let's see this is the customized think okay that is pretty fine okay so now let's go to save and click on save and click on desktop prod csv and click on csv comma delimited and click on save click on ok click yes and i have selected the products for import and field separator is comma and the multi value separated is semicolon okay so delete all the previous products i want to delete these products that were added earlier and uh, i didn't add the ids so click on import actually i need to upload the file prod csv so click on import click ok and these are the products that has been added to products and these are these looks pretty fine and occurring in a specific column okay so now click on import if there is an error it will show that error in our product x id number no id property product available date is not valid um, can't be saved available date is not valid so let's go and let's see where is the error text rule ID let's remove the text rule ID I don't want any text rule ID so quantity minimal quantity tax description meta title keyword in stock available for order so product available date just remove these things available for order yes I think that should be fine let's save it again and change it upload it again prod CSV and delete all the previous products next step click OK and let's try and validate it so it has been 100% validated there has to be a different format of the date that didn't update it so we need to try that what needs to be the default date of it uh, but I recommend you to don't don't add the dates uh, in the CSV that will be automatically added when you import the products and that will be generated uh, at the time when you are importing the products okay so that can be updated later on because date doesn't uh, depends on uh, the any feature or related to any product so let's wait for it until import all the products so the data has been imported let's close it and go to electronics refresh it and these products will be vanished
mobiles click on mobile phones and you can see that these are the two phones that are under the mobiles okay I just want to tell you that you just added these phones in these categories you didn't add the category mobiles okay but if you add any product in the child categories it will be automatically added in the parent category so mobiles is the parent category of all these child categories so it doesn't matter you add the iPhones or Samsung all the phones or products will be added in the parent category so if I, if I click on iPhone it will only have that iPhone if I click on Samsung it will only have that Samsung and it added these images from the URL that I added okay if I click on this iPhone and if I go to the product detail and these are the two attributes that are added that I added in the features that were having a column separated or a semicolon separated okay so this is means the position of it this has the one position that's why it is at the top of the table this this were having the two position that is at the second row of the table and I wanted to show you what is customized value if I go to products and if I click on Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and if I come down you can see it has a predefined value and a customized value predefined me value means it will have a drop down we need to select uh, any value that is existing in that drop down we can't select any value that is not inside that drop down okay and if we don't want to use that drop down value we can use the customized value so in my CSV file I added one one means that the value is customized and if I added zero zero means a predefined value and if I added zero I needed to select any specific value from that drop down that was already existed or uh, if it doesn't exist then it will add that uh, predefined value in that drop down value against that feature okay so I hope you understand what is predefined and customized value and that is being differentiated with 0 and 1 in our CSV file so uh, that is pretty much it I hope that you have learned uh, something very important in this video and that is very important because you want to start a store and you need to have uh, all the products added in your store and you need to know how to import all these products using the CSV file so, so that's fine thank you for watching make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video and see you in the next video thanks